Hello everyone and welcome, it's Shanna. Now today um, we're gonna be working with um, a card like this. I made this the other day. I had seen um, something similar to it on Pinterest and I didn't have the dimensions or anything and I just kind of worked my way into it and I created this card. So it's a tear card and you would actually, you know, put your sentiment or your message and your signature on the back of it there and it sets up like this. So, like I said, I just saw a picture of something similar and kind of made it my own and did the measurements. So, I'm going to bring you along and just kind of show you how I did it. I wrote them, I wrote the measurements down in my planner, so I'm just going to reference that. And this is going to look completely different, but I'm basically, this is all about showing you how to make the tear card. So, I have got a piece of um, Spellbinders paper here. And what I'm going to do is, you, you're going to want, i turn my trimmer around, I've got coffee on it. Um, you're going to want it to be um, at five and a half. So you're going to cut this at five and a half. And I'm hoping this, my cutter will cut all right. Um, yeah, it did. Sometimes it doesn't cut that great. So we've got a five and a half panel. So now we now have five and a half by 11 is what we've got. And I just basically tried to back into um, what I thought these folds would be. And so what I started with were two three inch um, pieces. So I'm gonna bring in my score buddy and I'm going to score at three inches like that. And I'm gonna flip it and score at six inches. And then that's gonna give me my three inch fold. So I'll just basically show you what I'm doing here. I'm gonna fold that that way and fold this this way. And so that gives me the first layer of our tear is what that does. And then from there, I'm gonna work on this end just because of the way my scoreboard works. And I'm doing my lower tier. And my lower tier is gonna be a one inch score. And I'm gonna score all these in the same direction. I'm not gonna turn them. You can bend it either way. And I'm gonna score at two inches. And then I'm gonna score at three and a half. So basically what that gives me is a one inch, one inch, one and a half, one and a half, and then three inch. So now I've got, this is my tear. I'm gonna fold this up. I'm gonna bend that back. And then I'm gonna fold this up. Try and get it lined up real nice and neat. Score that. And then I'm gonna fold this down. That's how I'm gonna do it. And we now have our tiered card base. And that Spellbinders is good, heavy card stock. And so I've got a real nice base. Now I'm gonna bring in a six by six piece of pattern paper. And I've got this, um, I guess, uh, Jerusalem scene here. And I'm gonna cut it down to where it I can use it on my panel. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna cut it at five and a half five and a half this way, almost cut it wrong. So I'll just cut it at five and a half, get that off of there. Did I do that right? I felt like it was bigger paper than that. Okay. Yes. And then I'm gonna need, um, I've got a three inch there. And so I think I'm gonna do, I'll just do two and three quarters and that'll give me an eighth of an inch on either side of it. I'm just gonna do that. And then that would be my panel that would go here, like this. And then my next layer is one and a half. So I'm gonna go to one and a quarter. And I wanna think about this. I've got one and a quarter there. Yeah, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna use this side of it because I'm, I'm trying to make it to where my 
houses look right. So I think if I do one and a quarter there, I might go a little bit more than one and a quarter just because of my houses. Um, and I'll trim there and then that'll make that fit right there and that'll look nice. Now this is only a one inch, so I am going to try and figure out how to get, first of all, let's square this off here. See what we can work with here. And I'm only being fussy with this because I have these. Okay, so I know that one inch is what I need. I need actually just under one inch. I think I'm just going to score the bottom half of my, I'm just going to take it to um, three and three quarters. I'm just going to cut the bottom half of my houses off, I think, and do it like that. And I guess I should say palaces, and that'll, that'll make this piece here. So that is how we do that. So I will try and link all of the measurements into the description box so that you'll, you can look it up if you, or you can replay the video. Okay, so now I'm ready to do my assembly. I'm going to grab my glue, and I hope that it's, I was gluing with it. Um, just see, it's, it's been clogging up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start laying my panels down. So I'm going to take my smallest one and just get some glue on it. That doesn't, has it, did that cut straight? Sometimes that Cricut doesn't, or that, you know, that Cricut trimmer doesn't cut exactly straight. It looks like it's off a little bit. I'm going to, let me clean it up. Okay, I just trimmed it up a little bit more. Okay, that's better. Um, so let's see if we can get our glue flowing here. All right, there we go. Now this is really fun. I'm glad I stumbled across that and um, actually figured out how to make it because I think it's really fun. Now I'm giving a little bit of edge here, but I'm actually running end to end um, on this. So as I mentioned that, I got a little bit of glue on there. Okay, now we'll just glue up our next one, and it's going to go here. We'll just get it lined up nicely. I like how that looks. Now we're ready for our last panel, and we'll just get it laid down on there. Okay. Actually, I might want to push that down just a little bit. Oh, well, maybe not. We'll just leave it like that. It's going to be fine. So now we've got our tier and we've got it decorated with our pattern. So I like that. Okay, now we're going to embellish it. We're ready to embellish it. And this is gonna be kind of different. Um, what I have got is I have two of these angels that I'm gonna add. And I wanna make sure that when I get them on there, It's going to be a little bit big. So probably what I'm going to do is, um, that's the one I'm going to cut down, but I'm going to need to cut this one down as well. Okay, so now I've got them all cut the way I need them. So this one's going to go like this. So we'll go ahead and get it laid down. And I've got some hammer mill cardstock on the back of it, so... Um, I've got this, I think this is um, three or four layers of, I've got the um, Love From Lizzie rose gold paper and then the hammer mill 
I've got um, two or three layers on that. So I'm going to get that on there and get it glued down. Now what I need to do is I'm going to use some clamps. Okay, so to just hold these while they're drying, I'm going to just kind of put a little clamp on there. And then I'm going to glue up the next one. And let's position it like that. And we'll clamp it on there. And then I'm going to put this clamp back on here. I'm just going to do that just to help it to dry for a minute. And then for the next thing, I, for this next layer, I've actually got this star that I want to put on there. And I want to make sure that I'm within four and a quarter. Yeah, so I'll be able to do that just fine. And I want to get this tip and as much of this bottom as I can glued on there because it's not going to have a lot of a lot of area to, to hold it down. And this is four pieces thick. I wanted to make this extra thick so that it would um, be able to sustain itself. So this is basically where I'm headed with this. And you can use anything for your tears. I mean, just, just anything. Anything you want to use for your tears, you can use for your tears. Um, this is just an idea I had just like this. Um, and then I have a sentiment that I want to put here. But what I want to do is take some of this scrap paper that I have here. And I'm going to cut, I'm just going to cut a little... I was going to, but my trimmer has fallen apart here. I hope you can see this. I don't know. All right. I'm just going to cut a little two-inch piece. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to this aside, I don't have a shadow die for this. And I learned this from my friend Daria. She told me to do this, and it is such a fabulous idea. So I'm just going to trim, trace around my actual die cut for my sentiment. Hopefully that didn't move on me. Get it lined up. And then we're just going to take some scissors and just fussy cut this out. And I thought this was a fabulous idea. Um, I had <laughs> laid a sentiment down on a piece of cardstock and then just tried to roughly trim around it. And my girlfriend said, um, here's a tip. And I was like, oh my gosh, what a great idea. So you learn something new every day. And it helps if you're a decent fuddy, fussy cutter. <laughs> I'm not. But the more you practice, the better you'll get, I guess. It's just great that crafting community, um, you know, was willing to share their little tricks and and to teach you and to learn, and it's it's just fun, you know, because none of us know everything, so it's just great to get some feedback from others and some suggestions and ideas and inspiration, and that's what these videos are all about. Um, 
I hope that I provide some form of inspiration and um, some help to you as you're crafting. And Okay, so we're almost there. Okay, so there we go. Now, um, this is where I want to bring in my bone folder and just press everything down nice and neat. Looks like I've got a hard edge on there right there. Just nip that off of there. Okay, now I have my sediment. And I've got it laying over here. And I just die cut it out of that same rose gold um, paper that I did the um, angels and the star. So I'm just going to take some glue and get this glued up and get it laid down on my blue paper and we'll add it to our tear card. And hopefully it'll look all right. Not bad, not bad. I think I can move it down a little bit. Move it down and over a little bit. And then we'll add our little tittle on there. Where is my, there it is, okay. Just pick that up and get that on there. That looks pretty good. So what I was thinking I would do is put it on here like this. And I think that'll look real nice. So we'll just get some glue on here. Now this may be one of those cards you want to hand out at church rather than put through the mail because it's, you know, it's a little bit delicate um, just with the, the way that these kind of hang over. I suppose you could put, uh, put it in a different kind of envelope with some cardboard around it or something and protect it. But um, anyway, so I think that's fun. Um, I think it's interesting, and I've got two of them. Um, obviously, the green one with the trees, and then this one. I had this love from Lizzie paper left over and this cardstock, and so I thought I would just use it and make a card like that, um, similar to this. Now, if you don't have a large die cut like this that you can use, you can also use just like a 3x3 three three square panel. Let me cut. I'm just going to cut one real quick. And this isn't exactly square, but you could do you could do um, squares on each level. That's how the card that I saw was shown. Actually, put the square in the front, a square here, a square here, and a square here, and you you know you do them at the different levels so that it's tiered, and then you can put like little sentiments or little die cuts or whatever on it. But I um, chose to do the trees because um, I was looking at this paper. And I was inspired by the paper, and I thought, I've got that tree. And I basically did the same thing. I cut the tree smaller, smaller. You know, this is a full die. This is smaller than that. And then this this one is smaller than that, so that it would kind of tear up, just like I did the angels. Um, but I just thought this would be kind of fun to do. And um, it should fit into an A2 size object. Let's see if I have one here I can show you. I'll just grab this red one that I've got handy. I wouldn't put this card in it, but you can see, um, well, maybe it should fit. Yeah, I mean, just barely. It's just barely going to fit in there. Um, you probably would need to lower that a little bit, but or you can use a bigger envelope to put it in, whatever. But I thought I tested this one. Yeah, I did. This, like this one. Um, the way I measured, it will it'll fit in there just right. I got a little carried away with my star there. I I was using my glass board to measure, and I probably just didn't have it set up just right. But um, if you do it like that, you can certainly get it in your A2 card. So I hope this has given you some inspiration, and I hope you like it. It was fun to make. It was fun to play with. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.